Hi there, my name is Jim Farrell. I'm the mayor of Federal Way. In honor of Black History Month, I have a book I'd like to read. It's by our former president, Barack Obama. He was our 44th United States president. He wrote a book called Of Thee I Sing, A Letter to His Daughters. So uh, that's what I'll read now and uh, uh, follow along. And I'll show the pictures as they, as they come up. Barack Obama, Of Thee I Sing, A Letter to My Daughters. Have I told you lately how wonderful you are? How the sound of your feet, running from afar, brings dancing rhythms to my day? How you laugh and sunshine spills into the room? Have I told you that you are creative? A woman named Georgia O'Keeffe moved to the desert and painted petals, bone, bark, she helped us see big beauty in what is small, the hardness of stone and the softness of leather. Have I told you that you are smart? That you are, that you braid great ideas with imagination. A man named Albert Einstein turned pictures in his mind into giant advances in science, changing the world with energy and light. There's the picture there. He writes, have I told you that you are brave? A man named Jackie Robinson played baseball and showed us all how to turn fear to respect and respect to love. He swung his bat with grace and strength of a lion and gave brave dreams to other dreamers. Have I told you that you are a healer? Sitting Bull was a Sioux medicine man who healed broken hearts and broken promises. It is fine that we are different, he said. Quote, for peace, it is not necessary for eagles to be crows. Though he was put in prison, his spirit soared free on the plains, and his wisdom touched the generations. Have I told you that you have your own song? A woman named Billie Holiday wore a gardenia in her hair and sang beautiful blues to the world. Her voice, full of sadness and joy, made people feel deeply and add their melodies to the chorus. Here's that picture. Have I told you that you are strong? A woman named Helen Keller fought her way th through long and silent darkness. Though she could not see or hear, she taught us to look and listen to each other. Never waiting for life to get easier, she gave other others courage to face their own challenges. Have I told you how important it is to honor others' sacrifice? A woman named Maya Lin designed the Vietnam Veterans Memorial to remember those who gave their lives in the war and the Civil Rights Memorial to thank the many who fought for equality. Public spaces should be filled with art, she thought, so that we can walk amidst it, recalling the past and inspiring us to fix the future. Have I told you that you were kind? A woman named Jane Adams fed the poor and helped them find jobs. She opened doors and gave people hope. She taught adults and invited children to play and to laugh and to let their spirits grow wide.
Have I told you not to give up? When violence erupted in our nation, a man named Martin Luther King Jr. taught us unyielding compassion. He gave us a dream that all races and creeds would walk hand in hand. He marched and he prayed and one at a time opened hearts and saw the birth of his dream in each one of us. Have I told you that you're an explorer? A man named Neil Armstrong was the first to walk on the moon. He watched the world from way up high, and we watched his lunar landing steps and leaps, which made us brave enough to take our own big, bold strides. Have I told you that you are inspiring? A man named Cesar Chavez showed farm workers their own power when they felt that they had done. The people were poor, but worked hard and loved the land. Caesar picketed, prayed, and talked. The people listened with their hearts and to their hearts and marched for their rights. Si se puede, Caesar said, yes, you can. Have I told you that you are part of a family? A man named Abraham Lincoln knew that all of America should work together. He kept our nation one and promised freedom to enslaved sisters and brothers. This man of the people, simple and plain, asked more of our country that we behave as kin. Have I told you to be proud to be an American? Our first president, George Washington, believed in liberty and justice for all. His barefoot soldiers crossed wintry rivers, forging ever on. He helped make an idea into a new country, strong and true. A country of principles, a country of citizens. Have I told you that America is made up of people of every kind? People of all races, religions, and beliefs. People from the coastlines and the mountains. People who have made bright lights shine by sharing their unique gifts and giving us the courage to lift one another up, to keep up the fight, to work and build upon all that is good in our nation. The end. Thank you for joining us. Have a good day, great day.